Hi everyone, I'm Samson and welcome to my talk on multilingual adversarial attacks inspired by code mixing. We live in an increasingly multilingual world, which means that many of us speak multiple languages with varying degrees of fluency. Recent work in multilingual NLP proposes to apply the pre-training fine-tuning paradigm to train a single universal model by first pre-training on a multilingual corpus before fine-tuning it on task data from a high-resource language. Finally, the model is tested on low-resource languages that were not seen during fine-tuning. This is known as zero-shot cross-lingual transfer. This approach has yielded impressive performance. However, this setting only tests performance on individually monolingual examples. This means that each example is constructed with words from the same language. However, such a setting does not test a model's ability to handle code mixing, which is something common in bilingual or multilingual societies. Code mixing is the phenomenon in which a speaker produces sentences by mixing words, phrases, and even grammatical structures from the languages in the repertoire. Human multilinguals often acquire this ability without being explicitly taught, and it is reasonable to expect NLP systems that interact with them to be able to handle code mixing. Therefore, we were curious to know what happens when a massive multilingual model meets an adversarial polyglot. Specifically, whether these models can handle code mixing without being explicitly trained to do so, and what the worst case performance could be when they encounter code mixed inputs. We attempt to answer these questions by constructing adversarial attacks inspired by code mixing. Finally, since we are not restricted to using a human adversary, we take this idea to the extreme by drastically increasing the number of languages the attacks can draw from. So generally, the problem we are trying to solve is the following. Given a multilingual model, the original examples label, and candidate adversaries obtained by perturbing the original input, we aim to generate a code mix adversary by searching for the candidate that maximizes the target model's loss. The main difference between our two proposed attacks is the method by which we generate the candidate perturbations. Our first attack, polygloss, uses bilingual word dictionaries as its source of candidate perturbations. However, some words may have multiple senses and different translations for each sense. Rather than use a word sense disambiguation model which could be much slower, we simply check if the candidates are present in the translated sentences. One disadvantage of this approach though is that many valid candidates are discarded, affecting the attack success rate. Our second attack, Bumblebee, addresses the sense disambiguation problem differently by generating candidate perturbations directly from the translated sentences. This is done by first aligning the words and phrases between the original sentence and its translations before extracting the aligned pairs as candidate perturbations. The advantage of this approach is that it, re it results in a larger set of candidates compared to a non-exhaustive dictionary, as in polygloss. Additionally, the word alignment approach also uses phrase-level perturbations, which resemble real code mixing more than the word level ones, making the code mix adversaries more natural. Here are some adversary examples generated by Bumblebee. We use the zero-shot transfer setting to evaluate the efficacy of our attacks and the robustness of existing multilingual models. We perform our experiments on two popular high-level tasks, NLI and QA. And for XNLI, we use three different sets of languages, since we did not have the bilingual dictionaries for two of the languages in the original test set. We find that existing pre-trained multilingual models are not robust code mix adversaries generated by polygloss, as you can see from the tables here. One interesting finding is that these models are significantly more robust to the average case perturbations represented by the random baseline than the worst case perturbations represented by the adversaries generated by Bumblebee. I go into more detail about worst case and average case test performance under real world variation in another recently accepted paper, which I have included below. 
We also observe similar trends in question answering where we only modify the question instead of the entire paragraph for simplicity. And here we, we see that there is a significant drop in performance, even just from modifying the question. And we finally test on more realistic language pairs and triplets and find performance to be also significantly impacted in the presence of code mixing. Next, we propose code mix adversarial training to improve the model's robustness to code mix adversaries. The adversarial training example generation process is largely similar to how Bumblebee generates its candidates. But we use the adversarial distribution to randomly sample perturbations instead of running the attack directly on the training set, which would be much more expensive. Additionally, we propose to train the model in a manner where it sees a slightly different variation of the example each time, rather than the same example repeated, which is the case in standard fine tuning. This allows us to improve the model's robustness in the same number of steps while barely sacrificing clean accuracy, as we can see from the table here. Attacking the model again with new adversaries reveals the improved robustness of our method, even against a stronger baseline in the second row, and even against adversaries from new languages that were not seen during fine tuning time, which are represented by the two columns on the extreme right. We also notice that our method significantly improves model performance over the other baselines when the premise and hypothesis are from different languages. This particular setting hinders the model's ability to rely on lexical overlap. Finally, we visualize the representations of the various training methods and find that ours produces the most language agnostic representations, as you can see from the figure here. To summarize, Multilingual societies are increasingly common in today's globalized world, and multilingual speakers often code mix when interacting with other multilingual speakers and acquire this ability without being explicitly taught. We create two adversarial attacks to measure the worst case performance of multilingual models on code mix input and show that these models are not robust to adversarial polyglots. Finally, we devise an efficient adversarial training scheme to improve robustness and reduce reliance on lexical overlap. However, our method is not perfect and there is still significant work to be done to bring worst case performance closer to the clean performance. Thanks for listening and you can find our code at the link below. If you have any questions, feel free to send us a message or drop by live sessions.